Hey, what's up students? Last problem. We're gonna start with the vertex finder to figure out the max height of a t-shirt. Yeah, a t-shirt was launched from a slingshot at, and it was launched with this equation it looks like. So here's the function h equals negative 16 t squared plus 72 t plus five. The only numbers that really matter to us are the 72 and the five. Five is the initial height of where it first took off. 72 is the feet per second initial velocity. And then the negative 16 t squared, that's gravity, that's always going to be the same. So how do we do this? Now the questions always start off, well, how high? Well, we can't figure out how high until we figure out what time. And that's what the vertex finder helps us out with. Okay, so if we do negative b over 2a, that gives us the time it reaches its max height, which is t. So in this case, negative 72 over 2 times negative 16 turns into 2 and a quarter. So at 2.25 seconds, this t-shirt will have reached its maximum height. So we plug 2.25 back into the equation. This is gonna take some time. Double check, triple check, and then check again when you calculate these gravity functions. Negative 16 times 2.25 squared, oops, that should be a square typo. That should be a square. Uh, plus 72 times 2.25 plus five turns into 86 feet. So how can we break that down? Well. At 2.25 seconds, this t-shirt will have reached its maximum height, which is 86 feet. Once you know the maximum height, you can answer some questions about it. Um, if you launched it straight up in the air, um, would it hit the ceiling if the ceiling was 90 feet? Uh, no, dude, the highest it goes is 86, so it ain't gonna reach 90. Um, if you go to Desmos and you actually graph this, you can figure out when it hits the ground. When it hits the ground, it's pretty obvious. It goes up, it goes down. When it hits the ground is when it hits zero. So, all right, that's about it for gravity functions. The biggest thing to take away, friends, is negative b over 2a gives you the seconds. Put the seconds back into the equation, and then it'll give you the feet. So even though it asks for the feet first, you actually need to figure out the when first. Um, and then um, initial height, initial velocity, all those fun numbers. These are the only two numbers that we really need to worry about. Um, that's about it. We'll see you in class.